What's up, my name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to set up the full release of Windows 11 on a Hyper-V computer. Why am I releasing this video again? Well, this video is updated for the full release, which is different to the insider builds which I covered earlier. We'll get there in a moment. In the description down below, you'll find a download link for Windows 11. And unlike Windows 10, there's quite a few options, including ISO, which is awesome. Select Windows 11 from the ISO section down here, download, then choose a language, in my case English, confirm, and download the ISO file. This will of course take some time to complete. When it's eventually done, we'll open up Hyper-V and inside of here, we'll start setting up our new system. So, new, virtual machine, and I'll give it a name such as Win11. I'll choose a different location, but of course you can put it wherever. I'll click next, set it as generation two, next, give it a certain amount of RAM, in my case, I'll give it say 12 gigs. Then I'll click next, choose the correct internet connection, next, choose the location for the virtual hard drive, next, and install an operating system from a bootable image. I'll browse, select the ISO file I just downloaded, next, and finish. I'll right click, settings, and in here I'll give it small virtual processes, say six, apply, and okay. So you'll see that if we start it and connect to it, we'll have a specific issue that we'll have to solve in just a moment. So press any key to continue, if you miss it, you'll need to restart the computer. Next, install now, and you'll see the error now. So Windows 10 Pro, there we go. So how do we fix this? Well, we need to enable TPM for Hyper-V. In order to do so, head back to here, right-click your new virtual machine, settings, then on the security tab, make sure that enable TPM is checked. Then hit apply and OK. Then we can connect to it and once again start it. Pressing any key to boot from CD, choose the correct language, next, install. Don't have a product key, choose the correct version, next. Now, accept, next. I'll choose custom, install it to this drive, and now let it run through to completion. Then I'll choose the correct region, next. Choose the correct keyboard layout, next. Skip, enter a name, so I'll say Techno VM. Set it up for personal use, next. I won't be signing in, so I'll go sign in options, offline account, skip for now, and enter a username here. I'll say just techno, password, I'll leave blank. Then I'll turn off all of these here, accept, and after checking for updates, you'll then be greeted and the installation will finish. And there we go. I'm now signed in on Windows 11. It's all set up and working properly. It's that simple. Of course, from here, you can run Windows Update and do all that good stuff. Set up your computer for use. You've now successfully set up a brand new version of Windows 11, the full release on a Hyper-V virtual machine. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.